Once upon a time, mystical creatures lived in our skies. Those creatures were called humans. Humans and mermaids lived in harmony. The sea was ruled by the beautiful Queen Mariana, and the land ruled by King Rosso. All was peaceful until Queen Mariana was found dead by the hands of humans. Furious, the king of the sea led an attack on humans and destroyed them completely. He then ordered that all his people be placed under the protective spell that seals us in our undersea kingdom, the kingdom of Mariana. That happened thousands of years ago. Since, Since then, then mermaids, mermaids have, have lived, lived in absolute, absolute peace and harmony, and it's been utterly boring. Ugh. Which is why I'm going to be the first mermaid to cross this barrier. Ah, Mao, you can't do that. Remember what happened last time you tried? Yes, I know. The spell zapped you! Bzzz. You were almost fried! Thankfully, you got out with just that scar. I mean, yeah, it hurt and everything. But that was before, when I was a simple merfolk. Now, I'm a princess. You're an adopted princess. Yes, the king adopted me, but I'm still kind of a princess, right? Plus, Princess Caitlin and I have been friends since we were guppies, and she's a real princess. That should be enough for this barrier to let me past. You aren't gonna stop until you get past this barrier, are you? Oh, come on, Tiani. Don't you ever wonder what's like past the barrier? Think about it. Mystery, adventure, <gasps> maybe even humans. Please, humans went extinct so many years ago. <laughs> How do you know? Come on, Tiani. Mystery is out there. What about romance? Bleh. No. What if a shark asks you to date? There are uncivilized sharks out there, you know. They might try to eat ya. Oh, no. If only I had a strong guard to protect me. Um, I'm a palace guard in training, not your personal guard. I should be pushing you back home. But... But seeing as I've been your friend since we were guppies, and I've seen you try to get past this barrier many times, I'm determined to see you succeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, sort of a princess Aphmau. Do you have a sea crystal now that you're a princess? Glad you asked. I do. They just gave you one as soon as you became adopted? Nah, Princess Caitlin tossed this one out, so I picked it up. She just... tossed out a sea crystal? Hmm, that's odd. Odd? Or destiny? Destiny! destiny. Hurry then, try it out! It stung. That sea crystal had no power. <laughs> Princess Caitlin! Caitlin! Please, you could just call me Caitlin. That tiara doesn't mean anything. I am so sorry, Caitlin. I. I kind of figured you were gonna look for a sea crystal the moment my dad adopted you. Huh? <laughs> Come on. We were all there when you tried to cross the barrier and exploded. Only last time you were more reckless. I mean, yeah, I don't want a giant scar again. I guess this means you're here to stop us. Normally, I would do that, since you guys aren't royal mermaids. But... Athmau is an adopted princess, so... What? Seriously? Sure, why not? I've been beyond the barrier before. Thank you, Caitlin! I- But, once you go past, you have to stay where I can see you. I've only been outside the barrier, I didn't go exploring. Aww. Hey, it's this or nothing. Aww. Fine. 
Let's do it! Now remember, you need it to get back too, so don't go dropping it, okay? I won't! Yeah, it's not as pure as water beyond the barrier. I learned that the hard way when my dad took me out. It might feel a bit spicy. It's spicy! <laughs> <laughs> is it everything you thought it would be? It... It, it is! It's different! It's new! <laughs> I'm glad. For a moment there, I was afraid it was all for nothing. Uh, well... Don't move. Why? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Hi. Av. Slowly try to make your way back. Side of things. I'm not dead yet. I just need to figure out how to get out of this. As long as I'm safe, I can still get back home. Just need to think. I just hope the current doesn't sweep away the crystal before I can grab it. I'll have to wait. Must have been a whale. There's nothing in the ocean that casts a bigger shadow. Right?
Three cheers for Prince Travis! Aye, thanks to him, we got the money to fix our boat and hire a few mercenaries. Now we're back and we bought him this! Um, what is that? It's a diamond, you fool! They call this the heart of the sea, and we lost a lot of good men to get it for Prince Travis. But the reward is so worth it. What's the diamond heart worth? Can't we just sell it and, you know, not give it to him? <laughs> it's worth nothing. Uh, is is what the mercenary just said true, Captain Garth? Yes. So, uh, what do we get for it? You're asking too many questions. Throw him into the cell. No, please. Now, does anybody else have any more dumb questions? Then off. Get back to work. You really aren't afraid of me throwing you off this ship, huh? I'm not in your crew, <laughs> so no, I ain't. You aren't scared of sharks? Are you? <laughs> Good to sail with you again, Aaron. I never expect any less from a pirate mercenary such as yourself. Tell me. What do you need the money for this time? <laughs> First you tell me why your prince wants that diamond heart. It ain't worth the men you lost. Well, first off, the edge of this heart is sharp. Could pierce the shark's skin. Second, he wants to get married. So, he needs a gem for a lady. He's got a few suitors in mind. Speaking of suitors, tell me, do you need the money to ask a new lady out? <laughs> what? I heard you were seeing a few ladies. Was. Didn't find the girl for me. I'm done trying to find someone. You say that now, but just you wait. You'll find someone. There are plenty of fish in the sea. I always forget that you're a hopeless romantic. You are too. You just won't admit it. Ugh. I've had my share of lady friends. I don't need another one in my life. Which reminds me, if you need money, you should consider joining my crew. At least for a little while. I lost a lot of good men getting this heart, and you make up for at least five of them. What say you? Mm -hmm. Only if it's for a short period of time. Aye, I can honor that. Hmm. Then I can honor your request. I'm in. Perfect! Hmm. Looks like we're getting closer to land. Best you keep your legs about you. There's a current coming up here and it causes waves. Don't fall off. <laughs> is back home. How far did we swim? Men, we are at the current. Uh, it's no use. I can't lose him. <sighs> oh, well. This current is mighty strong! Excuse me, Mr. Whale! I'm sorry, but can you please help me? There's a shark and he's trying to eat me and- uh, ah! Whoa! 
What the? Whoa! That was a rough wave! Oh no! I'm so sorry! Are you okay? Please, we can work together to... Please, can you... I'll sing for you! Whoa! Ah! No! The diamond! My bounty! Aye, he just jumped in! Look! It's Titanus! Titanus? Here? So close to land? How? Captain Garth is doomed! Jump in! Help him! I'm not jumping in there with Titanus! You go! No, you! No, you! They're dead! A woman? <laughs> Aaron! You saved me! There's a girl down there! Huh? I dropped the heart again! Quick, grab on! Let's go! It ain't worth it anymore! She needs help! Aaron! Are you mad, Aaron? What possessed you to jump back in? I... Uh, I saw a girl. You really are mad. Jeez. No, I saw her. But uh, I think Titanus got her. I didn't see her legs. <laughs> see, madness. I know the feeling. I don't blame you. I see tons of ladies when I get see madness. This one was real. And she saved me. She had black hair and a star-shaped scar. Aaron, calm down. It's a trick of the sea. All that matters is we're alive. You saved my life. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Ugh. We were so close to getting that reward for Prince Travis. I knew it was too good to be true. Ugh. Now that heart is gone and so is my men too. Ugh. At least the boat is repaired. Now, come on, lads! Let's make for land! Was I really seeing things? <sighs> that giant shark is gone. <sighs> but... But where do I go now? Hmm... Maybe that whale could help me. Hey, Mr. Whale! Wait up! Wearing light shoes, walking. 